Okay, a lot to look through once again, but they are somewhat organized. This won't take quite as long, nearly as long, hopefully. Um, three bags from the bag sale. That's an example right there of the bag that I use. That's the bag that I've had for the longest. I've probably used that one like 100, 200 times or so. Every time it gets any kind of repair or tear in it, I just use duct tape and repair. So that's the real way of recycling right there. Plus, it's sturdy and it holds a lot of books in there. So... What you see here is three bags worth $15, except for these items right here, which I got inside the store. Not too much, but since I was looking around, it kind of settled on a few things. Though, I got an unusual pickup. I didn't settle on this because I never pick up DVDs. Even on bag day, I could have packed in a bunch of DVDs in with these. But inside the store, this was $4 on its own. So not that bad of a deal, but a great deal because is something I don't see very often. It's called Upright Citizens Brigade, a sketch comedy show, which is hilarious. If you haven't seen it, I'd check it out. I'm not sure if there's more than one season, actually, but either way, check it out. It's 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 very, very funny. That might be a little tough to find. I'm not sure. I've never looked it up on the internet, but I never see it in the store, so I thought that'd be cool. It'd be fun to watch. Uh, it's kind of settled on this. I thought, yeah, it's good condition. Only two bucks. Uh, Essential Writings of Ralph. Uh, Waldo Emerson and yeah fair pickup for two bucks there but I did find a few Heinlein vintage hardcovers this one four bucks in nice condition the other two one dollar cheaper because they are in a little bit of you know just to, you know what you'd expect from books of this age see that little bit of wear and tear right there on the dust jacket a little bit more on the back near the spine not too bad but we got tunnel in the sky 299 and this is a really good pickup though that big chunk of the uh, dust jacket is out but it does have this protective sleeve over the dust jacket so you can kind of feel that right there yeah kind of hear that but yeah Heinlein trio this contains three different books in there I'll show you which ones Puppet Masters, Double Star, The Door into Summer. Still a really good deal for $2.99. Yeah, that one, this one too. This one's, I think, a, an addition that's a little tougher to find as well. So that was everything from inside the store. I'd been inside two days before, so I wasn't expecting to find much, and that was the case. Okay, let's check out the sci-fi books we have here. Orson Scott Card anthology that he edited so a bunch of stories by a bunch of different sci-fi writers called the dragons of darkness or not the dragons but dragons of darkness cj chera book a hunter of worlds hardcover book club edition that little price right there brings down the value a tiny bit but this isn't worth a heck of a lot it's a good pickup especially on bag day. Um, but yeah, any kind of writing in a book will bring down the value as far as collection collecting goes. Got a, a few Zelazny books here, which is really cool. Changeling? Is that how you say it? I don't know. <laughs> Good condition, though. A couple Amber novels. I think there's ten books in the, in the Books of Amber. Um, a series, uh, Blood of Amber. Okay condition. Four for tomorrow. This one's in decent condition, actually. And Trumps of Doom. Starring Eric and Don Jr.? Yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, I think that's him. We got Asimov's um, The Naked Sun, part of the Robot series. Pretty decent condition. Spine's a little worn and, and bent, but that's okay. Foundation and Empire. It's the second book of the series. A little bit damaged right there for sure, but still a good pickup, especially for Asimov. And I like I like these editions. They're not the the greatest editions of them, but I like these ones. Heinlein's uh, Farnhands Farnham's Freehold. Good pickup. Von Vogt Children of Tomorrow. Really good pickup. An Ace edition as well. Corners cut right there. 
couple E.E. E. Doc Smith, Skylark of Valerian, old vintage copy, a little bit beat up, but good pickup on bag day for sure. The size makes a big difference. The smaller, the better when it comes to bag day. You fit more books into said bag right there. You can only fit so many books. So this was kind of an exception. I'll get to these in a second. I'll get to those next, but so that's something I size those size books I normally would not get. But E. E. Doc Smith's uh, Skylark of Space. This one's in horrible condition, but still a pretty good pickup. And like I said, been small book. Larry Niven's The Long Arm of Gil Hamilton. Pretty good condition. Spider Robinson, Time Travelers, Strictly Cash. It's an Ace Edition 2. I don't think I've seen this before. This looks pretty cool. Something I'm not familiar with right here. Martin Cruz Smith. Oh yeah, I've heard of Gorky Park. Analog Bullets. So, a decent condition. Might be something worth checking out. B5 Full Thumb. This is an old vintage. I mean, just the size is a little smaller. So, it, it kind of kind of cool you put this with other similar vintage old sci-fi paperbacks kind of fits in looks nice so yeah these Winston Churchill books took up much more room in the bag than these paperbacks that normally wouldn't get these but we got volume four and number one two and four so we got this is the uh, a history of the English speaking peoples book one or volume one the birth of Britain volume two the new world not in the greatest condition but outside of the dust jackets, I'm sure they're in pretty nice shape. You know, it's always the dust jackets usually with these. They, those are take a lot of the, a lot of the damage, of course. And the Great Democracy is volume four. So those are good pickups. Almost got a, almost got a, one, two, three, and four there. But just one, two, and four. Probably sell those one and two by themselves, and then wait to try to find volume three because. I have a certain size packages, and I don't have a size package that can fit all three of those anyways. If you catch my drift, I'd rather just, yeah, sell them the easier way. I don't have to, like, get go out of my way. I have, like, a few boxes that I'll keep aside for different orders if somebody gets multiple orders or something, but I don't like to do that too often, basically. So I keep everything you know, a few books or so. I try not to sell like 20 or 40 books at a time too often or a whole bunch of big ones that need a special box or something or a special package. Agatha Christie's Miss Marple, The Complete Short Stories. This oversized paperback. A really good pickup for, for bag day. Well, it feels like it's actually falling apart a little bit. Probably well read. And let's go to that genre right there. We got Anna and the King of Sin. Uh, old vintage. Bridged edition. Nice condition, though. Not too familiar with that, but we got another Agatha Christie here. An old vintage Agatha Christie Cat Among Pigeons. A really good pickup for Bag Day. Book called Hunger by Newt Hamson. I think I, I checked out the back. It sounded kind of interesting. You could pause and, and read it yourself if you want. E.T. Enough said. <laughs> Just a novelization on E.T. Pretty good condition, though. I see that book quite a bit, though. Uh, there's also a sequel, I guess. I, I, I've had, I think I've had the sequel a few times, too. It's only in book form. Of course, it's not in movie. Earth abides. That'll be the next thing they come out with again, right? They'll re they'll bring back E.T. because they they brought back everything else and they're out of ideas and they don't have any creative I new creative ideas apparently. They should make this into a movie though. Earth abides. This that would be awesome. That would be really awesome actually. This is a really good book. I'd recommend it to anyone. By George R. Stewart. And we also got a Michener book here, Caravans. I haven't seen this edition. You don't see this book too often either, this title. So that's a pretty okay pickup. James Lee Burke, an author I like. Last Car to Elysian Fields. This is a, uh, I think they printed a lot of these of this particular title. It's the Dave Robichaud novel. Most of, it, most of his books are 
Robichaux Stories, John Saul's The God Project. This one's in decent condition overall, other than that bend. Pretty cool edition. I think it's probably one of the first paperback editions, maybe. And John Saul's The Manhattan Hunt Club. Okay, condition. And a Steve, one Stephen King book we found, Dolores Claiborne. We usually fight a few more Stephen King, but not this time. That's okay. I've got plenty of his books. Most of them are for sale, too. So a lot of them. A lot of rare ones, though, I keep in my, in my collection. Um, we got a golden guide here. A book on the weather. All really cool color illustrations. Educational book for kids, but people collect these. They're vintage from, you know, the 70s and 80s, so... Really good pickup, and considering the size of these, these are some of the best pickups for bag day, for sure. They're up there. And here's another one, Gold, a guide familiar to American species, mammals. It's a little nature guide. Oh, look, there's even a little bunny wabbit on it. Special for me. All right, excellent find. It's another small book, but uh, Bill Stern's favorite baseball stories. I'll put that over with. Ryan back in the air, the sports books. Uh, Egyptian wall paintings. This is a men yeah, mentor art book. Really good pickup, really thin too. Sailing shifts and sailing craft. So, hey, a lot of really cool color illustrations in this one too. So this is a really cool find right there. Games for the super intelligent. I come across this quite a bit but I always pick it up because it's the subject matter and it's really small so it's great for find that on bag day the universe and Dr. Einstein nice and thin the sexual power of marijuana by Barbara Lewis the sexual power a wild plant interesting Fortunately, there's no pictures in there. Okay. The Making of a Counterculture. Interesting. Reflections on the techo technocratic society and its youthful opposition. All right. Carlos Castaneda, Journey to, Journey to Ixlan. Nice condition. Uh, you find these books kind of beat up, but this one's in Good condition there. The Greeks, uh, Pelican edition. Good pickup, nice condition. And the Remarkable Insatiable Kennedys <laughs> by Joe McCarthy. It's a real thin one, but we got another Kennedy book here. The Kennedy Wit. <laughs> the Kennedy Pickup Lines. No, just you. Now we got the Jazz Scene. A Penguin. Good pickup. A lot of cool information there about the history of jazz. So. And the art spirit, Robert Henry. And what do we got here? Darkness at Noon. Arthur Kostler. Want to read? That's about right there. Go ahead and pause back there. Interesting. Derek Jeter. So we got another baseball book here, Pride of the Yankees. An unauthorized biography. The World of Rome is another mentor book. So those are always good pickups. So those were the paperback, uh, nonfiction paperbacks there. I think we just got some random, oh yeah, some random good finds here. It's, uh, all these piles are different, somewhat organized. Some of them are more organized than others. So I I think this is a kind of a cool or fun little pickup right here. Signet action. And, you know, these type of books, these vintage uh, books that they made for the stereotypical dude. These are kind of Shadows of Death 3. I'll have to look that up and check that out. Gregory St. Germain, haven't heard of him. Multinational Terror 
team goes on a Nazi slaying spree in occupied Paris. Well, can't get more fun than that. Uh, Zacharias Sitchin, The Lost Realms. This is book four of the Earth Chronicles. So he used, to, he used to belong to Goodwill at one time for one ninety nine. Great pickup for Bag Day there. Also a great pickup for Bag Day, Harold Lamb, the, uh, uh, Cyrus the Great. Decent condition. And the Arms of Krupp. 15, uh, 15 does I say 87? I'm looking at the phone, so it's hard to... 1587 through 1968. A little bit of a bigger book, but I grab it every time on bag day. We also got a few Fletch novels by one of my favorites, uh, personal favorites, Gregory McDonald. I just, I just think these books are fun. I've only read a few of them. It's been a while, but um, yeah, this is one of them, of course, the first one, Fletch. I think they, yeah, they brought, I, I watched the movie too. They brought back Fletch just a couple years ago or so, or a year or two ago. It was okay, but I like the one with Chevy Chase as far as the movies go from back in the 80s. Fletch and the Man Who. Fletch's Fortune. Good condition too. Fletch and the Widow Bradley. I've read this one. That one's good. So those are fun finds. Good finds, but especially for, for me. I've already got the whole uh, Gregory McDonald, all the Gregory McDonald books collected, so just keep the ones that are in better condition. Now, I found a few books by an, an author named Conor, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Conrad Richter. I was going to say Conard or something. Uh, the book called The Town. These are in pretty good condition, too. The Trees. Pretty cool um, cover art as well. Not too bad. This one's really good. The Fields. I've seen these before. I'm just not too familiar with the premise of the stories or, or, the, or, or the author. Conrad Richter or Carnard or whatever I was going to say. The, the Light in the Forest. That's really cool looking. So yeah, got four of them right there. That'll make for an easy listing to make, you know. I also got a couple books by our friend Hal Lindsey and his optimistic outlook. The Late Great Planet Earth and The Late Great Planet Earth. So two of the same book, different edition. We saw him last week, though, a bunch, I think. And also picked up these, since they were just all together. Normally, we we'll pick these up by themselves, but... Oh, wait, may, may, I don't know. Let's see what they are. I forget, I forget um, what we got here. Okay, so we got a few different uh, stories and story gems. Branches over the wall. Well, maybe I would have got these anyways. I don't know. Thoughts for talks. Thoughts for talks. I don't know if that's it. Minute sermons. Today we can't take a further look into these. It's... I don't know, waste all your guys' time in story ets. All these little mini hardcovers, though, didn't take up much room in the bag. Certainly made them made the bag way heavier. And everything. Yeah, so when I take that first trip back with two bags, it's quite a workout, to say the least. But I like it that way. I always consider that. And yeah, take a second trip. Not quite as heavy, but still, good workout. Now got all these together, too. Makes for an easy listing, easy sale. What do we got though? Questions and replies between Emperor Taizong and of Tang. I love Tang. And General Li Jing. Three strategies of Huang Shigong. Methods of the Sima. Well, I gotta know those. Taigong Six Secret Teachings. And We Liazi. So, yeah. Not quite too familiar with all that, but make for an easy, fun listing to, to sell. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of James Harriet books. I am actually reading the first of this series. This same book here not the same exact copy this one's a nicer condition 
all creatures great and small. So far, so good. I'm just a little ways into it. My parents are also reading it, so that's part of the reason. They've also watched the show, so now they're reading the book after they've seen uh, all the show up, up to up to the point it's at, and they enjoy it very much, and I'm enjoying the book so far as well. It's about a veterinarian who moves to the country, and so yeah, I mean, yeah, it's pretty good so far. Decent storyteller, and I like the subject matter as far as, you know, being animals and such, and you could tell just by the titles of the books where a lot of the subject matter is heading, all things wise and wonderful. The Lord God made them all. See, he's even hugging a cow. Isn't that nice? <laughs> all things wise and wonderful again. Different edition. All things bright and beautiful. That would be a great profession, wouldn't it? To be a vet. You know, and Kramer is right from Seinfeld. You know, a vet's got to be able to work on a duck, a rabbit, a dog, a horse. Just, you, you know, who knows what they're going to be getting. <laughs> Though most general vets just, uh, and I've, I've had some tough learning, just cats and dogs, trying to find a, a good vet for, or a, just even a rabbit can be tough depending on where you live. If you just don't, you know, I'm lucky enough to, to have such a great bookstore, but I'm not lucky enough to have very good vets as far as exotic. They consider rabbits to be exotics, I think, which is really ridiculous. So finding a good vet was hard, but yeah, just everything depends sometimes where you live. So we got some, what do we got here? Some poetry and, and plays and some other such type books, uh, some penguin editions here. Now this is a philosophy book on the nature of the universe. Good pickup though, these penguin editions are always good. We got two copies of this, one's in a little better condition than the other. The Orestian Trilogy. Yeah, I'd be like, well, why'd you get two of them? Well, it's a good pickup either way, so. You just fill up the bag, too. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> you have, <laughs> should I, should I try? You have Tushenko? You have Tushenko? Okay, whatever. It's probably could have been worse. Um, selected Poems, a Penguin, Modern European, European Poets, so, uh. Yeah, what country is that name from? Good pickup though, nice and thin. T.S. Eliot selected poems, nice condition. More selected verse of Robert Service, oversized paperback, a little big, but yeah, kind of a good pickup because it's nice. Yeah, like I said, nice condition. And the Hemingway Reader, much bigger book than I'm used to getting in bag day but in despite the uh, average or below average condition pretty decent pickup though I, would, I still have to say and we got a bunch of the murder she wrote series for some lucky lady out there except there's uh, two of those I think I have some other I find these one well, not not too often, but fairly often, so we got a bunch of those. I don't think you, none of you are too interested in uh, looking at these, so we'll just go kind of quick. You could, if you happen to be interested, go ahead and pause and look at them a little longer if you want. But yeah, two copies of Destination Murder. Uh, kind of popular though, probably amongst the fans, I'm guessing. Uh, maybe, maybe it's a good book. That's uh, also written by, I think, the, the actress, yeah, Jessica Fletcher, right? Okay, we got some fantasy books here. The Firebrand, a little bit bigger. So it's kind of like, oh, should I get this? And, you know, Bag Day could fit two or three other books instead of this one. But I don't see this one too often. And it's also Marion Zimmer Bradley, so good author. Also, a book I don't see. Spine is pretty decent, so overall decent condition. Pretty good pickup, probably. House Carino, definitely a good pickup. Not written by Frank Herbert, but his son and Kevin J. Anderson. Good condition. Dosadai Experiment. This one's in surprisingly decent condition. So, decent pickup for Bag Day. And another big title, another bigger book. This, though, that of these uh, 14 books, this is actually probably one of the smaller, if not the smallest, book in the series. I think it is the smallest book in the series. 
book two of The Wheel of Time, The Great Hunt. This is the uh, next book that I will be reading in the series, but I'm just in no rush to read it because the first book was just a tiny bit of underwhelming for me from, you know, what I'm used to. And then I started reading Michael Moorcock and I'm like, oh my gosh, how could I go back to that? But I've heard it gets better starting here. So I will go back at some point, just pretty much based on that. We got the second Chronicles of Thomas Covenant, book one, The Wounded Land by Stephen R. Donaldson, a nice looking copy of it. And let's see, a couple books by Carl Sagan, The Dragons of Eden and Broca's Brain. Pretty good pickups, but especially the uh, Dragons of Eden is always a nice pickup. It's hard to find these in good condition as well. So, Also a couple books here on cinema. We got four screenplays by Ingmar Bergman and also Cinema Borealis, two oversized paperbacks. So I got these since they're sell them together like that. Should make for an okay listing. Uh, so we got some fun. Let's look at the fun stuff here. We got uh, beginning backgammon. <laughs> a little bit of a bigger book, so you're like, why'd you get that? Well, you know, I forget how to play backgammon. Not sure if I even knew ever knew how to play it. We had a backgammon set, but there was other games we played with it, or we made up our own games or something. But I saw a friend who was really into this game play with somebody else who was really into this game. They looked like they were having a great time. So must be a good game. They're really into it, really good at it, so I had no idea what they were doing <laughs> and how to play that game. Uh, Larry Wild, a hardcover right here, but yeah, good pickup because Larry Wild, Library of Laughter, a collection of the funniest gags, quips, and stories by America's best-selling humorist. So yeah, good pickup, a uh, hardcover. You don't see, you usually see these in, in paperback, which is great, but don't see the hardcovers too often, so that's kind of cool. 150 Ways to Play Solitaire, really thin book, and another Solitaire book along with you know, this, along with the other one I'll pass along to my stepdad who really likes Solitaire, so yeah, see if he finds some other ways that he might want to play it. Offbeat Humor, little mini hardcover, I've seen this before, kind of cool though, really thin, so fits in the bag nicely. Yeah, so this is also, I should mention, an X Whole Foods bags, which you will, the reason why you get these is they're like about this much taller than your average bag, like a couple inches or so, so they fit a little bit more in there. I don't try to overdo it, though. It's too good of a deal, so I respect the rules and such. Uh, how to talk dirty and influence people, a little take on words on the, uh, play on words of that other book, really popular book that you've probably heard of, How to Win Friends and Influence People or whatever. I, you know, the first time I heard the title of that book, I thought sound, that sounds kind of weird. Like, <laughs> like, sounds something like that narcissistic people would probably want to read or something. I don't know. But I think it's supposed to be for a certain type of person that has, you know, certain problems, probably anxiety issues and such. Um, how how to make friends basically this andy cap book is awesome except for the condition so that's unfortunate but still a great pickup really, really thin really small makes it better for bag day hagar the horrible this one's in nice condition hagar's pretty funny charlie brown here who do you think you are this is an old vintage one uh, 50 cent. Not the greatest condition at all. And BC, one of my three favorites. Big Wheel. Okay condition. Not too bad. It actually kind of feels like it's falling apart. Still good though. Peter Piper's Practical Principles of Plain and Perfect Pronunciation. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure why I got this. It's probably just because it is so small and fit in the bag pretty well. But speaking of which, that's the reason I, I always tell you I get these Dover Thrift Editions. We also got a couple of Cliff's Notes here. 
the Prince, Machiavelli's, and the Count of Monte Cristo. And this is not a Dover Thrift Edition, but still kind of the same thing. Tom Sawyer, or The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Probably still put this in. Oh, this one's actually got photos and stuff, or yeah, illustrations. So even better. Okay, this guy has some highlighting too. So, but okay, yeah. So a bunch of Dover Thrift Editions: so Shakespeare, Chekhov, more Shakespeare, what else Thoreau. Hey, we saw him earlier, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Voltaire. Shakespeare, another Voltaire, and Chopin, The Awakening. All those, though, don't take up much room, which is the main idea on Bag Day. Book on ball pythons as pets, caring for your ball python. Applied horse psychology. I actually got this for my mom to look at because she really loves horses. She even taught equestrian, rode, of course, rode horses a lot. I was around horses a lot as a kid. Unfortunately, having asthma, it wasn't a good combination for me at all. I had one of my worst asthma attacks out by a horse pasture. It's just, yeah, it just, it's just really, it was the worst place I could be, probably. But anyways, I still love horses, but just not as much based on this, you know. I'm allergic to so many animals. That's why I have rabbits, because I'm not allergic to them, thankfully. Let's see the Gandhi story in his own words. Big oversized. Yeah, so all these are oversized paperbacks here. Advanced rock craft. This looks really cool. An old vintage book as well. A lot of great photos and, and little illustrations on how to do things while rock climbing. For safety's sake, probably most most of it. <laughs> crystal enlightenment. So yeah, that could be as dangerous as it gets, right? Book on crystals. I think I flipped through this and noticed that there are really any photos. <laughs> you would think there would be some highlighting, be some photos in, in a book about crystals, but so maybe it has some good information in there. You know, you didn't have to dilute it with a bunch of great cool looking color photos of crystals you know? or they didn't have the money <laughs> for that 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 might take into consideration when you're publishing a book an invitation in phenomenology phenomenology yeah uh study studies in the philosophy of experience yeah good condition you could pick up there treasure hunting Pays off. Oh, <laughs> it's one of those metal detector guys. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part. You gotta walk around with one of those things. Uh, seems like you gotta be of a certain age to be walking around with a metal detector. I'm, I'm, I'm not quite there. Kids, kids like them. I think I thought they were cool back when I was in grade school. I kind of wanted one. Yeah, I did want one. I think me and my brother wanted to get one. I mean, the idea of, like, going around and finding money or treasure was cool as a kid. And it doesn't... It goes away, though, until you reach, what, age 60, maybe? 65? Maybe 70? No, 65. 65 is our... 60, 65. Your interest in metal detectors comes back. Tennis, anyone? I got this for my, my stepdad. Let's see if he... He plays tennis. Um, my find something in there good tip or something uh, gardening with ferns this is really thin but actually pretty cool anti-semite and Jew it's like it's got some Martin oversized more oversized paper packs and Martin Luther King jr. So let's see, we're almost done here. We just have this little pile. This is taking too long, even though these were organized. Mark Twain, on a, one of those little mini penguin. This is penguin 60s. So. 
yeah, I got a bunch of those I could put that with. These little mini hardcovers with the uh, gold pages and the tassel in there. These are really cool. These collect, yeah, collector's library, little mini pocket sized pictures of Sherlock Holmes. Those are great. It's a great for a bag day since they're so small as well. D.H. Lawrence, Aaron's Rod. I keep repeating myself about that, but I can't help it. The Siberians, a Penguin Edition. Winner of our discontent, Steinbeck. Not very good condition. So I guess that was a movie. I never saw it. I never read the, uh, at least maybe in high school, I can't remember. There's all sorts of Steinbeck and other stuff that I don't remember reading in high school that we did read. I just, yeah, it goes in one ear out the other at that point, you know, when you're being forced to read it. Uh, three or three novels or short novels by Theodore Dostoevsky. Notes from Underground, Poor People, Friend of the Family. This is a great pickup. One of those Dell, vintage Dell editions. Um, nice condition, too. Silas Mariner, George Eliot. Good condition. Goodbye, Mr. Chips. I'm not sure what this is all about, but by James Hilton. Really nice condition. Really thin. Put it with some other classic literature. Sell them all together. If you don't, yeah, if you uh, haven't been to my store, check it out. You can see how, what I end up doing, the end product of all of this kind of stuff. Daniel Hawthorne, The Scarlet Letter. Another Penguin edition. So pretty good little pickup there. Ken Kesey, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, in awful condition, but still pretty decent pickup. And I've got a couple William Golden, the one we see all the time. This one's in surprisingly nice shape. It's one of those books that gets read a lot, like we were talking about last week, I think. Lord of the Flies. So copies of Lord of the Flies will be typically be in poor condition. I don't see this one ever, Freefall. Older edition, or well, yeah, older book. Great, great pickup for bag day. Pocket book of O. Henry stories. Along a good condition, along with another O. Henry, the four million and other stories. A couple different little anthologies. Dell pocket size edition, old vintage. The Magnificent Bastards. Eighth, eighth printing. Nice condition. And how green was my valley? I I just don't know. I wasn't there. I didn't get to see how green it was. One of those kangaroo pocket books. So yeah, that takes care of it. Whew, got through all those books, but this is going to be a regular thing. So thanks for tuning in. Please don't feel forced that you have to watch these if you just like to keep up with what I'm doing. I don't want to waste oh, too much of your time because I will be doing this like this much, this long of a video once per week, along with probably one or two other supplemental book haul videos from the other books I get during the week. So anyways, thank you for your time. Hope you have a good week. Hope the weather is getting better where you live. It is where I live and I'm starting to run about, it's going to be about five or six days a week. So I'm getting out outdoors in the sun a lot. And I'm really, really, really enjoying it. I'm going to be really enjoying 80-degree weather coming up this week. I hope you will, too.